Welcome to the Loudoun County View. I'm Bishop J.D. Drennan and I'm joined today with Mike Newman who is a candidate for the 4th District County Commission seat here in Loudoun and uh, it's a privilege, pleasure to have you with us Mike. And um, just uh, if you don't mind tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you do, who you are. Okay well basically um, my name is Mike Newman. I'm, uh, I live in Philadelphia, Tennessee. Um, I've got three kids. I've got two girls that are nine and a half months apart. I've got a 16 year old son. Um, I've been in the same job field for about 20 years now, um, which is the police department. I've worked for Loudoun Police Department for about 15 years. I worked for Sheriff's Department before that for about five years. And um, I'm pretty motivated about this whole county commission run and and all the support and, and you know and everything that people has uh, all the positive responses I've got as far as when I decided I was going to run. Well, we're glad that you're in the race. Of course, you'll be representing my district okay. in, down in the fourth district there. Uh, and uh, can you tell the, our viewers just a little bit about why you decided to run for county commission? Well, I'm, it, it's kind of a twofold story. One is, I mean. The first part of it would be the fact that, you know, I just think that uh, I can make a difference as far as um, uh, just decisions that are made monthly, and, 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 I, and I'm not a fence rider or anything like that, you know, I mean, I, if I believe in something, I believe in it, you know, and right now, I mean, I really believe strongly in the fact that, um, you know, we're going to have to build some schools somewhere down the line. now. How we get to there, I mean, that's for everybody that I think that gets elected to figure out. I mean, you know, raising taxes and that type of thing, uh, I, I don't really believe in that. I believe there's ways to get to where we need to be without doing that, um, regardless of what people think or, or, you know, or have said that, you know, I might be uh, a part of or, or going to do. But the fact of the matter is, I, I think there's ways to, to do what we need to do without raising taxes. and. Um, and, and, and you know, I'm just looking forward to, to getting an opportunity to, uh, to to make a difference as far as that goes. So, uh, if you are elected to county commission, will you consider yourself to be a public servant or a county employee? Well, a servant. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be I'm going to be very approachable. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be the guy that if you know you see me out in the yard, I'm I'm going to be the person that you can come up and. Uh, you know, my house is always open. Anybody wants to come by, and 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 I just want I'm, I want to be the approachable type person that that no matter what's going on, or if you have an issue, or you have something you want to talk to me about, either a call me on the phone, or b come to my house. I mean, I live out in the country, and and I like it out there, and I got good folks that live around me, and and the fact of the matter is, I mean, my wife and I always talk about this. I mean, uh, our house is open to whoever. And, and, and that's the type of person I want to try to, to come across as, as somebody that, that you can, and I am approachable about anything that's going on. And even when I get elected, I'm going to be the same way. Uh, the, the person you get now is the person you're going to get then. So what would you think is the most pressing issue in Loudoun County politics right now? I mean, of course, it would have to be the, the fact that, you know, the greenback issues in the schools. I mean, the gas leaks we have over there. I mean, the older buildings. I mean, the the, uh, the projects where, I mean, there's things that need to be done, and our kids are in those schools. And I mean, my child's about to be out of those schools. But then again, I've got a two and a three year old that for the next 13 to 14 years are going to be in those schools. So, you know, in my opinion, it, it, it can't be put off any longer. I mean. It, something's got to be done as far as building the schools one way or the other. Even if, if we don't build them, then we've got projects we got to do to fix them. And, you know, so, I mean, how do we get to that point? I mean, who knows? I mean, and like I said, that's for when we get in there, if I get in there, then that's for me to figure out. And, um, and you know, I've kind of got a plan in the back of my head on how we can do things as far as if, uh, you know, everybody's been on not building schools, then we need to fix what we got and make it safe for the kids that are out there going to those schools. So, I mean, to me, the schools, of course. I mean, anybody hands down that's running for county commission right now or running for this type of office, I mean, they've got to have the same issues. It's got to be 
I mean, I would think that their issue would be the same as mine, and that is these schools have got to be, something's got to be done with the schools. I mean, that's my opinion. That's what I think. So you're a big proponent of education. I am, yes. Yeah, my wife actually has a degree. She's a, she has a degree in education. All of her family was uh, educators. Her, her father's a retired uh, principal from Fort Loud Middle School, Philip Bettis. And, um, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind me saying so. I mean, he, you know, they grew up. In education, I mean that's their whole their whole life's been that, and uh, in just the eight or ten years I've been around them, I mean it's rubbed off on me too, and and and, and it's just got to be done. I mean it's you know it's not about us anymore. It's about you know personal agendas and people not liking somebody. And I mean maybe I shouldn't say that, but the fact of the matter is, I just feel like there's so many personal agendas out there that we can't get through all that to get to the fact that the kids have to be taken care of. In, in the past administration, there has been some effort upon those that were in the administrative uh, uh, echelons of Loudoun County to restrict the public's ac access to information. Uh, do you see any of that changing? Uh, if you're elected, would, would you like for public information to be available to the public exactly uh, unrestricted yes yes because I mean I always feel like and again it goes back to just the job I do I mean it, it, it's all better to me everything I do is a matter of public record all the way down to my personnel file I sure. mean it's public record and it's something that 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 everybody should be entitled to and and, and I've always been a that's always been like a, a pet peeve of mine is the fact that you know, public records are exactly what they are. You should be able to go get them and look at what's going on anytime you want to do that. And and you shouldn't be criticized for the fact that you want to do that. You know, I mean, if somebody asks for something and it's something that's gone on in the public or it's a public record, then they're, they're hands down, you should be at, you should have access to it. I mean, you shouldn't have to jump through a bunch of hoops. And I mean, I know that there's there's guidelines as far as if you request some type of records. You've got a certain amount of time you have you can respond and then seven days later you can get that but see I've just never been that kind of a person I think that you know as quick as possible because I think that a lot of times you know, the longer you wait on giving somebody a public record a lot of times the more they think that we're you're trying to hide it cast a shadow of it that. does it does absolutely and, and so my thing is I just think that you know uh, it should be accessible as you know quickly and swiftly, but you know, not, that's, that's not always the case. Well, as we get ready to finish today, uh, if there's anything else that you'd like to add to our uh, viewing audience today, anything else important you'd like to tell them, uh, you can have the opportunity to do so at this time. Well, I mean, our, the one thing I, I would like to say is that, I mean, all the support and the, and the people that's called me and the people that's got behind me on this thing, I, you know, I just want to make sure that I don't let them down and I'm going to keep, you know, plugging along and doing what I'm doing and not get discouraged in any way, you know, and um, and I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to be very approachable and I just want everybody to know that, you know, I do appreciate all the support and calls and the prayers that I've gotten during this time and and I appreciate you having me out to talk. I, Absolutely. I mean, it's our is, pleasure. Yeah, I really appreciate the fact and the opportunity to get to come here today. Our pleasure. Well, this has been this week's edition of the Loudoun County View. Tune in next week and hopefully we'll have another Loudoun County candidate uh, to share his views and opinions with you uh, here on the Loudoun County View. Thank you and God bless you.